Welcome to a video that will provide examples of simplifying expressions using the order of operations with mixed numbers. Let's do a quick review of the order of operations. We'll first simplify the innermost parentheses or grouping symbols, and then we'll simplify all the expressions with exponents. Then we'll multiply and divide from left to right, and then we'll finally add and subtract from left to right. So there are four steps to the order of operations. So just be careful of that if you're used to using PEMDAS, or please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, to remember the order of operations. There are only four steps. Again, parentheses, exponents, multiply and divide from left to right, and then add and subtract from left to right. So four steps. Here's our first example. And on the right here, I have the abbreviations for the order of operations. For the first step, we cannot perform any operations inside the parentheses. So step one is complete. Step two, there are no exponents. Step three, we need to multiply and divide from left to right. So our first step is to multiply these mixed numbers. So the first thing we need to do is rewrite the mixed numbers as improper fractions. So it'd be five times four plus one, that's 21 fifths, times three times one plus two, that'll be five thirds. Before we multiply our numerators and denominators, we should try to simplify this. So let's go ahead and rewrite the numerators and denominators in factored form. This would be three plus 21 is three times seven. Five is prime. And five and three are prime. This is a nice step to show because now we can see that three over three would equal one and five over five would equal one. So this simplifies very nicely. We have three plus, this would be seven, all over one, or just seven, so the result is 10. Let's take a look at another example. So we're first gonna start by simplifying inside the parentheses, which means we'll have to add these fractions and then subtract these mixed numbers. Let's go ahead and rewrite this and convert these mixed numbers to improper fractions. So we'll have two times two plus one, that's five halves, minus four times one plus one, that'll be five fourths. Now to subtract mixed numbers, you don't have to convert to improper fractions, but I like to keep it consistent. Whenever working with mixed numbers, I like to convert to improper fractions, because you have to, to multiply and divide, and it's optional for adding and subtracting. But if you don't convert these to mixed numbers, you may have to borrow or carry when you're adding or subtracting in mixed number form. So remember, in order to add or subtract fractions, we have to have a common denominator. So looking at these two fractions, the least common denominator of three and four would be the least common multiple of three and four. And that would be 12. So to convert the denominator to 12, we'll have to multiply this denominator and this numerator by four. We'll have to multiply this denominator and numerator by three. Now let's take a look at this difference. The least common denominator of two and four would be four. So if we multiply the denominator by two and the numerator by two, notice we now have a common denominator. Let's go ahead and rewrite these. We're gonna have eight twelfths, plus this will be three twelfths, plus here we're gonna have ten fourths, minus five fourths. Now that we have a common denominator in both sets of parentheses, we'll now add here and subtract here. So here we'll have 11 twelfths plus, this will be 5 fourths. Now that we've taken care of the parentheses, there are no exponents, there's no multiplication or division, of course we're left with adding and subtracting these two fractions. And again, we have to have a common denominator. The least common denominator of 12 and four would be 12, we can multiply this four by three, and then do the same in the numerator, and now we have our common denominator. So we'd have 11 twelfths plus 15 twelfths. Well, 11 plus 15 would give us 26. So we have 26 twelfths, and now we're not done. This simplifies. I know that 26 is two times 13. I know 12 also has a factor of two, two times six. So it simplifies to 13 six, which is simplified, but it's also an improper fraction. 
So to convert this to a mixed number, we would take 13 and divide by 6. There are two sixes in 13, two times six is 12 with a remainder of one. So this tells us that 13 sixths is equal to two, that's the whole number part, and one sixth, the remainder over the divisor. And let's take a look at one more while we're here. Again, looking at the order of operations, the first step is to perform the operations inside the parentheses. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and convert these to improper fractions rather than having to deal with borrowing. So we'll have two-thirds plus, this will be five times two plus two, that's twelve-fifths, minus, this will be three times one plus two, five-thirds. Once we perform the subtraction, we do have to square this. So now we'll obtain the common denominator. The least common denominator of five and three would be fifteen. So we'll multiply this fraction by three over three, multiply this fraction by five over five. Let's go ahead and rewrite this. We'll have two-thirds plus the quantity. This will be thirty-six fifteenths minus, this will be twenty-five fifteenths. Let's go ahead and subtract here. We have a common denominator. Thirty-six minus twenty-five is eleven. This one's getting a little more involved because we have to square this now. And I say that because to square this fraction, we have to square the numerator and square the denominator. So 11 squared is 121, 15 squared is 225. And now we have to obtain a common denominator. And I know that three divides evenly into 225 because remember the sum of the digits, five plus two plus two is nine. And since the sum of the digits is divisible by three, so is this number. So let's see how many times three goes into 225. Looks like it'd be 75 times. So that tells us if we multiply this first fraction by 75 over 75, we would have our common denominator. So here we'll have 150 over 225 plus 121 over 225. So we have our common denominator. Let's go ahead and add the numerator. 150 plus 121 would be 271. And again, let's go ahead and convert this to a mixed number. 271 divided by 225 goes one time. the remainder of 46. So this is equal to one and 46 over 225. The only factors of 46 are two and 23 and neither divide evenly into 225, so we're done. I hope you found these examples helpful.